I find a light in every dark tunnel. I will find a goddamn light, man. To those who have everything, more will be given. From those who have nothing, everything will be taken. It's like what's very pessimistic in some sense, because it means that as you start to fail, you fail more and more rapidly. But it also means that as you start to succeed, you succeed more and more rapidly. So every day, at the same time, you sit down in front of your keyboard and you start working. Mm -hmm. And just put in the work, put in the work. Force yourself to do it. Force it like a muscle. Like the same muscle that you develop when you go running every day. And then you get to the point where like seven days in, you start fucking feeling good running. <sighs> right. Right. So you start to feel like you're good at it. You start feeling like you're getting better. Yeah. Because you're putting in the time. But there's a humility in determining what it is that the wretched creature that you are can actually manage. Aim low. And I don't mean don't aim. And I don't mean don't aim up. But you have to accept the fact that you can set yourself a goal that you can attain. And there's not going to be much glory in it to begin with. Because if you're not in very good shape, the goal that you could attain, could attain tomorrow isn't very glorious. But it, it's a hell of a lot better than nothing, and it beats the hell out of bitterness, and it's way better than blaming someone else. It's way less dangerous. And you could do it. And what's cool about it? A voice in your head that wants you to do nothing. This voice in your head, and he calls it resistance. Yeah. And he, exactly. he talks about this resistance that is in your head, and that you have to decide that you are a professional. This is what a professional does. A professional goes to work and they, they, they give in to the muse, okay? The concept of the muse, whether or not it's real, but the concept of the muse is you settle in and receive creativity almost like as a divine gift from this magical entity, the muse. Now, whether or not it's real is not important. What's important is, it, is if you treat it as if it's real, it does work. And what works is, if you dedicate your time and your focus, like realistically, with a professional, disciplined effort to creativity, you show up every day like a professional, but you show up to be creative. If you just do it on a regular basis, ideas will come to you. point is your best strategic position is how am I insufficient and how can I rectify that? That's what you've got and the thing is you are insufficient and you could rectify it. Both of those are within your grasp. If you aim low enough, one of the things why you do... Why do you see that? That's another thing you keep saying, aim low enough, have a low enough bar. Why do you, why do you mean that? It's like, well, I don't know how to start improving my life. Someone might say that and I would say, well, you're not aiming low enough. There's something you could do that you are regarding as trivial, that, that, that you could do, that you would do, that would result in an actual improvement. But it's not a big enough improvement for you, so you won't lower yourself enough to take the opportunity. Do you know what it takes to do this right here? <laughs> not much. Do you know right here? Yeah. I'm going to tell you how I feel right in your comment section, Joe Rogan. You can kiss my... You know what that takes? You, what do you have going on that you have the time to just simply be that negative and, and do it in this world and universe? It's just a mismanagement of your time. Time. Yeah, time, time is so valuable. And, and I, I don't think people understand how valuable they can be if they use their time correctly. As you said, people focus on failure and negative and anger. That's what we want to see. Controversy. That's what we want to see. People yeah. want to see the anger. Yeah. And and you know, where Why do you think that is? Because it's just the times. It's it's that's what's cool now. Is what's that cool, what it is? What's cool is, it? is being negative. Why were you suicidal? It's because I can feel very big states in life, but I can go so deep that I don't see a way out. Yes. And I'm looking for a way to to get out of my body or to to hit myself or to I, I can explain that deep and I don't find a way out. What makes you hate yourself? It's hard to be comfortable with yourself, so it's very hard to be comfortable with other people. That's why I always stress with people like you've gotta accept yourself for what you've done wrong. Do your best and also 
find some difficult shit to do because that gets away a lot of the anxiety that you carry around in your body. A lot of like difficult things make regular life less difficult. And that sounds so simplistic, but particularly physically difficult things. Because when you do things that are physically difficult, the strain of making yourself do those things, it's very valuable. It's not just valuable like exercise and fitness and martial arts and running and whatever you're doing that's really difficult. It's not just valuable in terms of like health and the way you look, but it's also valuable for your mind. Most people overestimate what they can do in a year, and they underestimate what they can do in two or three decades. And you haven't been around long enough to have those extra two or three decades. So don't fuck it up. There's time. And if you give yourself just a little bit of time, and if you'll be a little more loving to yourself, I think you're gonna find you got a lot to give. I can fucking feel it.